guys welcome back to my channel it's currently Sunday and we're heading to Jamaica tomorrow I'm so excited that it's finally here I can't even believe it um, so I'm gonna do a little pack with me and show you guys what I'm gonna be bringing to Jamaica because yeah I have not packed yet it's the day before Jamaica and I haven't packed good job Rebecca great job <laughs> I have things laid out it's just not packed yet so that's what we're gonna do and we better get to it Send help. really excited apparently he's coming too. I think he wants to get under this and he wants to hide. Alright so I'm going to just start to grab stuff and throw it in here. Hopefully I have everything. Let's find out. I've got two pairs of pants for him. He's also bringing, like, wearing another pair as well. Um, these ones I'm actually going to put in our carry-on because it's his pants for my best friend's wedding. So we'll put those ones in after. And I've got four pairs of shorts for him. I hope that's enough. Most they can be wearing swim trunks anyways, right? Is rolling clothes actually better? I feel like it takes up a lot more room. We're not going to do it. Not with his pants anyways. We'll just change this up a little bit. Let's get them flat in. Flat. Makes it a lot quicker too. So I have a pair of pajama pants for him, obviously. So, and some dress shirts and regular shirts and wife beater shirts or whatever they're called. I'm just gonna grab a couple of them and to put in the carry-on as well. This is his shirt for her wedding. It's kind of fun. So I'll keep that one in there just so he has some stuff in case something happens to our luggage. Let's hope not. And I'll throw a couple of these tanks in our carry-on as well for him. And then put some other ones in here. And then underwear. Alright, so I have way too much clothes for myself, I think. I always overpack, though. So I have a couple of rompers and stuff. Oh, hi, Dash! A couple of those and maxi dresses for in the evenings. Those ones. Also have some these cute pants. They're really flowy. And some flowy shorts. I love these. And a skirt. And then some jean shorts as well. I want to have lots of options. Excuse me. I actually packed a lint roller. Well, I haven't packed it yet, but I have one to pack because this cat is all over these clothes. Like, in, it's insane. Like, just stop. <laughs> all right. My suitcase is already almost full. This is going well. It's fine. Everything's fine. So I'm actually wearing this one on the plane, vacay mode. Me and my sister made them, so she has one too. We'll be matching. And I'm wearing these on the plane. So they're actually crop. So they're a little shorter, but they're really flowy, I guess we could say. They're so comfy. I'm going to wear a pair of sandals with them too. 
All right, so I also have some more dresses and skirts and stuff. Just, you never know what you're gonna wanna wear. Like, I don't know what the weather's gonna be like. Is it gonna rain every evening? Is it gonna be beautiful? I don't know, I have to be prepared. Oh, I almost forgot that I need to put some of this in my carry-on in case something happens to my clothes. Body suits. I've got three of them, but I'm putting two in my carry-on. So just one for here. Guys, look how cute this shirt is. Doesn't that like scream Jamaica or like down south? Love it. Alright, and I just have some other miscellaneous shirts that we will pack as well. Okay, look at this one. Another one that me and my sister made. Beer, drink, and fade. Putting that one in my carry-on, gotta make sure I have this one. <laughs> you guys might not know this about me, but I love elephants. Like, my favorite animal. They're so cute. I just want to save them all. So I got this cute elephant print. What is this called? A cover-up? A shaw? Come, come, Camino? I don't remember. Anyway, so I got that for the beach. Just try and fit that right there. <laughs> it's already kind of full and it feels kind of heavy. I mean, it just closed, so we should be fine, right? Okay, and then I also just have two um, little sweater shawl things for in the evenings in case it gets a little chilly. And this cute little sweater for the exact same reason, just in case it gets cold. How many swimsuits should I pack? I don't even know. 20? Is that too many? Probably. All right, so I got three pairs of swim trunks for Dustin. Stick these up here as well. So I got all my swimsuits. I do have two over here to go in my carry-on and I moved one of Dustin's swim trunks because I keep forgetting. I keep throwing things in and I'm like, oh shoot, gotta go in the carry-on. <laughs> Those are in there. Look at this cute, um, pajama romper that I got. Isn't it adorable? I mean, you could totally wear it out as just an outfit too, but it's so comfy. Definitely bringing this. This is getting really full. I don't have much clothes left though, so. I also heard that your carry-on could only be five pounds. Do they actually weigh it? I've never had a carry-on get weighed, so. I'm gonna stog it full probably and hope for the best. Clearly this is gonna be the heaviest part, shoes. So I'm actually gonna wear these on the plane. These are the ones I just picked up at Ardeen's. They're super cute. Um, I'm gonna bring a pair of like fuzzy socks and throw them on on the plane if my feet get cold. Figured that was the best way to do it. I don't want to be bringing around a big pair of sneakers or anything. There's no point in that. So I also got two pairs of these, white and pink. Aren't they cute? So I'm actually going to throw the, some of our shoes in Dustin's backpack. It's going to make it a lot easier and make our suitcase a lot lighter. Sneakers. Here are his flip-flops. A pair of mine. Maybe I'll put the two pairs of mine in there. That'll save us some room. We also got some water shoes. We're planning on going to Dunn's River Falls. So that sounds like so much fun. So throw those in. And my cute little wedge heels which I feel like should also be in a carry-on, but we're just gonna hope for the best. These are the socks I was talking about. You hey? So I'll throw those on in the plane if my feet get cold. All right, so this is 
my little beach bag that I got. That's so cute. I got it off Sheen. Love that store. So we just have our travel documents that our travel agent just sent to us. We've actually got these really cute lug luggage tags in it. I'm going to stick those on the luggage when we're done. So we'll take those out. Just got our itinerary, her card, a pen. Like it's kind of, it's really cute. Some gum. And it's, I think it's almost an eight hour flight. So we have cards and skipo or skaboo, however you call it. I don't know. Obviously we got our passports. Yay! So I've also got two pairs of sunglasses for myself and then hubby's pair. I'm gonna throw those in my bag. Just hopefully they don't break. That's why I'm bringing two though, because chances are I'm gonna break one pair or lose a pair. I always do. Lipstick. I have a couple more, but they're in my makeup bag, so I'm just gonna bring one on the plane. It's the one I'm planning on wearing. Um, it's an e.l.f. brand, and it's actually matte lipstick. It's really cute. And then, of course, my wallet. So I have my American cash. I'm not going to bring my visa, so I'm going to take that out now and just take out other things that I don't need because that seems unnecessary to bring that all around. And I have a bucket load of change. I'm not going to bring that. Hubby's headphones. Mine are downstairs charging, so I'll have to put mine in later. I'm just gonna stick those in his backpack. Dash, you fit perfectly there. Are you coming with me? Are you coming to Jamaica? <laughs> My toiletry pile is getting a little large. I'm gonna go try and find a bag so I can organize all this. Okay, so we don't have any bags except sandwich bags and that won't fit much so I'm just gonna use this part of the suitcase I have a bunch of room left open for all the stuff so sunscreen plus I also got this 110 sunscreen for the face um my husband burns really easily so we need to make sure that he's got that on him at all times <laughs> I've got some contact solution and some band-aids Some bug spray, some Tums, some Imodium. Also Tylenol, shaving cream, you know, all that regular stuff that you always need. Um, face wipes, after bite, toothpaste, toothbrushes. I always buy new ones whenever I go anywhere. Does anyone else do that? I know it's a waste of money, but. So we got a Tide to Go pen. These things are so handy. Okay, I'm going to put all these in a baggie. Um, I've got these vitamin C packets. They're just so great for like, even hangovers. Like, just having one of these. Show you guys closer. They're the emergency ones. They are so great. Oh my gosh, guys. Look what I just realized. It has this handy... This is a new suitcase, so this is all new to me. But it has these pockets. And like a zipper part. So I could put all this stuff in here. That makes way more sense. So let's do that. How handy is that? So there's two huge parts that doesn't don't zip up, but it'll hold it all together. So they're just kind of everything's just thrown in there, but I think it's pretty solid even though this piece closes down it should be fine my suitcase is probably gonna be a mess by the time I get there anyways they're probably gonna dig through it a million times because that's what airports do apparently <laughs> contacts I have mine and Dustin's here we're also bringing our GoPro I'll get some really good vlog footage on this so got a selfie stick attached to it I'm gonna put that in our carry-on though. Actually, I'm gonna put it in my purse, well, the beach bag. It's probably the safest spot for it. And then I have it on me. Something happens. I've got the GoPro charger. I'm gonna throw that in Dustin's bag. Dustin's backpack's always just like shoes and chargers and like electronics. 
Can't think. We're doing pretty good. It's it's pretty heavy, but we're allowed 50 pounds, so. Also, check out this hat, Ardeen's as well. Super great. It says, eat, beach, sleep. How cute. I'm either gonna wear it, carry it, or throw it in my carry-on somehow. So we're just gonna leave that out for now. I don't want it to get all wrinkled and stuff on the in the bag. So probably gonna end up carrying it. It's probably gonna be the easiest thing to do. I have our Bubba mugs. Obviously, we need these. Um, the lid won't stay on for some reason. We actually had these for our wedding, so we had them vinyl stuck on and this one said bride and this one said groom so I picked it off because obviously we're not the bride and groom anymore but it's like still indented there I have to show you guys you guys can see it it's kind of fun so that's kind of like a memory now like just engraved on there <laughs> so that's fun but got our mugs Okay, wow, guys, I think that's everything for this suitcase. Or it's everything for now until tomorrow morning. Um, I gotta stick my makeup in here. We still have to fill up some shampoo bottles. We have those, like, reusable ones, so pack those. Just, like, everyday things that we, we still need to use. But other than that, I think this suitcase is done. So I'm gonna bring in the carry-on. <laughs> already have my uh the dress that I'm wearing for the wedding the bridesmaids dress it's already in here look at the pretty color um I mainly put it in here so quickly because dash was it was in a plastic bag and dash was like ripping it all up and I'm so scared that he was gonna hitch it or something because we don't want that I've kind of already gone over what's going in this one so I'm just gonna quickly fill it up and I'll show you guys anything extra that I add in here actually I'm gonna move my fuzzy socks to my purse because this is gonna be up above and I don't want to grab it we have everything maybe all right so thanks for tuning in and watching me pack and try and pack and my cat be an idiot <laughs> like normally he's trying to eat scissors right now it's fine so I'm going to end this vlog here and I will see you guys, what are you doing? I will see you guys in Jamaica because that's going to be the next video after this one is our Jamaica vlog. There's probably going to be two parts so stay tuned for that and I will catch you guys later.